Hey, welcome back to KSL Outdoors. I'm Adam Eagle. Well, we loaded up the truck, grabbed my son, Ethan. We're headed uh, about three and a half hours northwest of Salt Lake City to the county of Box Elder, where biologists are checking in on a population of greater sage grouse. So we're out here doing our annual sage grouse let counts. Last week, we had 46 males right here at this site. Uh, a lot of times you'll watch the males and they'll be establishing dominance mm -hmm. on, on the leks and so sometimes you will see them fighting. The males will puff out their chest and then those air sacs will inflate and, and deflate and make a sort of a, a popping sound. They'll also spread their tail feathers out into a big fan and kind of like a turkey does. Yeah. Then they, they dance around and see who's, who's the most macho of, of all the males. Despite long-term population declines, greater sage grouse remain relatively abundant and well distributed across the species 173 million acre range. At one time, this species was considered for protection by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, but in 2015, the service determined that protection for the greater sage grouse wasn't warranted. The U.S. population today is between 200 and 500,000 birds. We are in a bit of a down cycle right now, but still doing okay. Uh, this part of Box Elder County is part of a larger meta population that, that, of sage grouse that goes up into Idaho and Nevada. Part of our, our let counts is getting population estimates, but also with that, with those numbers, we determine our permit numbers for hunting. Depending on the number of males that we see on the leks, uh, we'll, we'll come up with a, a certain number of permits to issue for the coming fall. But there, there's always things that we can do to, to help the species. So mainly out here, we've been doing a lot of juniper removal. And within a matter of weeks, the birds will move into those areas and actually establish nests in those recently treated areas. We, we need to make sure that they have the habitat necessary to survive and thrive and continue to be sustainable. Well, it, it's important to be a good steward of the wildlife. The mating ritual of the greater sage grouse is something to behold. If you haven't seen it in person, boy, next March or April, come out to Box Elder County and drive around on the roads. You too could find a lek and bring the kids, bring your spotting scope and binoculars. It's, it's pretty dang cool to check those birds out. And if you want to hunt the birds, the application period is coming up this summer.